Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Um, so I recorded uh, earlier the Town Trader game uh, to kind of show you guys how, how Town Trader works uh, a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, the town boss, but you guys can kind of see what people do and such in there. Uh, we had a game thrown in there, but it's a, it was a little better than the one before. But um, I was like, hey, maybe I should explain some of these roles to, to people. So this is what we're doing today. We are going to explain some of the roles. So, so town, there's a ton of roles here. Um, what you do, uh, there's going to be some roles that you cannot be um, like for in psychic. In town trader, you're not going to be able to be a psychic. Um, but in coven town trader, you can actually be a psychic. And uh, same with the crusader, like you're not gonna be, you're not gonna have a tracker or a trapper in um, in just regular town trader or crusader, but you will have them in coven. So there are some roles in towns that you're not gonna be able to have in town trader, regular town trader, and then there's some um, or in ranked. And classic, but there's some roles that you're gonna be able to do in other game modes. So first, we have the bodyguard. Uh, the bodyguard, basically, you're kind of like a doctor. Um, you go on somebody, um, and but you have some kind of defense. Um, at times, there's a fifty-fifty chance of you dying or you not dying but um it it depends so that's why it says su successfully protect someone from being attacked so if you protect somebody from being attacked then you get them and you will actually kill that person so if it's a mafioso um coming to, to kill them then you could actually kill that mafioso or if it's like a janitor coming you know the, you're gonna get you're gonna get them to to die so that's what the bodyguard you also have one vest that you can protect yourself so if somebody comes and you think they're coming to get you and you have no other people to protect but yourself put that vest on and pray that you survive now the crusader this is the fun part this is not available in town um trader just a regular classic town trader not available there the only way you can put it you can play this is in all any or Coven Town Trader or Coven All Any. You will not have a Crusader claim in Classic or anything like that. It has to be All Any or Coven Town Trader. The good thing is in Coven Town Trader, as a Crusader, you will most likely be on the Jailer. So whenever you go play Coven Town Trader and you're Crusader, just say, hey, I'm, J I'm Cruise, I'm gonna go on the Jailer. Sometimes there's gonna be two Crusaders in the game, so be careful with that. Um, if there are two Crusaders in the game and one says, hey, I'm Cruise on Jailer, you can also go on the other person and say, hey, I am Cruise on Cruise. Um, and then somebody, if there is a town protect, um, they will most likely go on you. That way you do not get killed. Basically, the whole point of Crusader is you are pretty buff. You are a guy that will kill people. Um, now, the, the thing with the bodyguard is the bodyguard will not kill everybody it will not kill townies but the crusader will so let's say somebody goes on that jailer on night one and you are there if it's like an escort or a spy or somebody or a doctor or a bodyguard you're going to kill them um you're going to survive unless somebody directly attacks you but you will kill that person so be careful when you are claiming crusader um, and be careful and tell people, hey, I'm protecting this person, stay away. So you might want to make that clear. So a doctor, it's basically the same thing as a bodyguard. You go on a person every night. You do have a little uh, band-aid, self-heal. So if you're attacked and you selfed that night, you're not going to be dead the next morning. Um, and, and there you go. I pretty much have uh, quite a bit of achievements on the doctor, but I have not saved three people in one game yet. That's kind of hard in a, in a way. Um, the escort is like the consort uh, for the mafia, but um, the escort, you're just going to roadblock somebody. So, for example, you're roadblocking a doctor, okay? Um, the doctor goes on the jailer and, and 
somebody in the mafia decides to go after the jailer and you go and roadblock the the doctor that jailer is gonna die because you did not let the doctor do their job. You're role blocking them. So there you go. An investigator. <laughs> so what you do is you investigate um, people every night. Now, this is the same thing as the consigliere from the mafia, but there's going to be specific, um, the consig will get a specific role from that person. They're going to know if they invested an escort or a crusader. But the investigator from the town is not going to get just that role. They're going to get a couple of other roles with it. And they're going to say, okay, so this guy is probably a survivor, an amnesiac, a psychic, or a medusa. They're going to kind of get a set list of roles that that person could be so as a townie you need to figure out what they are um sometimes you know somebody says hey i'm serve and um they they get like, like uh, a bg uh, bodyguard godfather arsonist uh cruise you know invest on them now that could also mean that they're doused from an arsonist but that could also be like, hey, this guy is not a survivor. This guy is a freaking godfather. He's an arsonist or he's a bodyguard. So you can kind of get, you know, the different roles um, in, in there. Um, the jailer is pretty freaking amazing. Um, so all you need to do as a jailer is jail people and you execute somebody. Now, um, this this is pretty awesome to execute three non-town members in a game. That's a little bit hard of an achievement to do, but... Uh, there you go. Most of the time when you're a jailer, especially in town trader, you are the leader of the town. You're saying, hey, let's go. Let's uh, let's get things started. I'm going to jail people. And a lot of the townies are going to keep your life as best as possible. And all any, that, that's a little bit iffy. Uh, you could successfully claim or, you know, come out and claim day one. But you better pray there is a town protect on you or some kind of thing on you. Because if you don't then you're going to get screwed. So a lookout, what a, a lookout does is they go on somebody. So let's, for example, in Town Trader, uh, the jailer's like, hey guys, I'm jailer. The lookout, what you're supposed to do as a lookout is you go on to the jailer and say, hey, hey buddy, I'm going to see who visits you tonight. Uh, so what the, the lookout does is they'll get a little pop-up screen that says, hey, so-and-so and so and so and so and so visit your target tonight and um now there's if there's more people than than like i think it's like three it will say this person this person this person and more visited your target last night so you have to be careful with that um but that's basically what you do now mayor <laughs> this is it can be a good role and it can be a bad role um, mayor is, is one or the other. Sometimes it's really good to be a mayor. Sometimes it's really bad to be a mayor because, hey, it's, it's okay. But, um, what, uh, what you do is you can reveal on day one. Now the perks of a mayor is that once you're revealed, you actually get three, three votes instead of one. Um, whenever the the sentencing and uh, you know the voting comes um however if you don't reveal as mayor then you will not get those three votes you just get one otherwise like you could be like hey i'm i'm secret mayor i'm getting three votes i don't have to reveal now of course when you reveal there are perks and they're not uh, perks the perks of revealing is you do get the three votes and the bad fall <laughs> and the bad things about revealing is the only person that can protect you is a crusader or a bodyguard. The doctor cannot go on you once you reveal. Now, when you don't reveal, the doctor can go on you. So a lot of times what I see is somebody says, hey, I'm mayor. Um, don't, you know, like help 
help. Uh, I'm, I don't want to reveal just yet. You know, let me know if there's somebody that can come on me. And then sometimes, the like, I had a game where a jailer, a whisper jailer day one, I was like, hey, I'm mayor. Um, I need somebody on me. Let me know if, if there's a specific person. And then they found a bodyguard and they said, hey, hey reveal tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get you a bodyguard. So I revealed and I had a bodyguard on me and then there you go. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, now a medium, a medium speaks with the dead. So what the medium does is when a night time comes, the medium's like, hey guys, you know, hey all dead people. Now a medium can be very, very powerful because if somebody dies and, and um, they they didn't put stuff in their in their will because you know obviously the let's say spy um, got you know the mafia visits or investigator got you know results and such they can't put those until um you know a medium kind of talks to them so the medium could actually portray those results to the town uh, the next day so it's pretty cool now uh if you are dead you could actually say on somebody you could actually talk with somebody that is still alive and say hey this is you know what i know and this is you know something that i can tell you so let's communicate with an arsonist communicate with the godfather communicate with a serial killer. That's where these uh, these uh, achievements come into place. So they're pretty powerful um, depending on, you know, what the game is looking like. So it's pretty cool being a med. Uh, let's see. A psychic, you're not going to be able to have a psychic in Coven, um, in Town Trader, and just regular Town Trader. Um, the only time you're going to be able to do it is in all any. So this is not in ranked. Or classic is just an all any um, and then in Coven Town Trader you're gonna be able to be to have a psychic in in your uh, in your team so what the psychic does is on odd days they're gonna reveal evil people in the town and in even days they're gonna reveal good so what an evil world looks like is like let's say 1 7 and 13 are evil one of those three is an evil or they all could be evil so um you're gonna have evil visions <clears throat> what you do is you post them and say hey on day two it's like hey so and so so and so and so and so one of these are evil and then you kind of go and figure out who's evil from from that um on the day two you're gonna get some good now a lot of times you're gonna get somebody who's bad and then somebody who's good or you could get that they're both good um, it really depends on, you know, how the game works with you. So that's pretty cool. The Retributionist. This is a fun one to play. Let me just tell you that right now. Um, I love this one. I actually remember this. I resurrected her bodyguard and defended from an attack. The bodyguard obviously died, <laughs> but it was a corpse. So there you go. Um, the cool thing is they actually changed this. This used to be... Where you could actually resurrect somebody from the grave. Um, so let's say the jailer died. Um, and you could actually resurrect them from the grave. And bring them back to the game. Um, and that's all the Ratchet was good for. But this is actually a lot more fun the way they did it. Because um, what you do is you can actually be a lookout for a night. Or a sheriff for a night. Or, or a spy for a night. Or an investigator. Or an escort. Or a doctor. Or a bodyguard. Or a crusader for a night. Um, this role is unique though. Um, so if, if there's specific games that you're not going to be able to have two retries, um, there's going to be specific times that it's only going to be one. Um, and you're not going to be able to have, you know, two, two of these in the game. So just be careful with that. Um, these, you can have a retry in, in uh, in all any and town trader, but, um, pretty much in every everything that is all any and town town trader coven town trader all that stuff so that's that's pretty nice the sheriff what you do is you go visit somebody every night and you find out if they're innocent or they're suspicious now sometimes you're gonna find uh, like the godfather shows up as innocent if uh, the coven has the book then they will show up as innocent um if the person is framed or hexed or um i don't 
think if you're DAOs, you'll show up uh, sus. But if they're framed or hexed, you will show up as sus. So you got to be careful with that. Um, the spy, what they do is they bug somebody and they see people that are visiting that person. Um, they also see mafia visits and coven visits. So if you're playing all any and you have coven and mafia, you as a spy, you have some pretty good information because you say, hey, spy uh, or coven visited this person, this person, this person. So you can kind of say, oh, this guy is not coven or this guy is not mafia. Um, the only time that you'll be different is sometimes the potion master or this guy will, will visit somebody else. So you have to be careful with those. But uh, you can kind of narrow down who the Mafia and who the Coven are if you're a spy. Uh, tracker. This is not available in Town Trader. You have to play Coven Town Trader to get this role um, or all any. Um, I don't, this is not available in Classic, I believe. So you got to make sure that the role list, um, you have Tracker before somebody says, oh, I'm a Tracker. You're like, um, I don't see that role in here. So no, you're not a Tracker. What you do is you, hey, you target somebody every night and you see where they go. So you're going to track uh, somebody every night and say, hey, this person went here. This person went here. Or this person didn't move. They just stayed in their house. And that's what you do. The transporter is pretty fun sometimes. Um, it depends. Uh, but what you do is you can transport two people. So um, that's where, you know, make someone attack themselves. So let's say the Mafia, let's say you found a Mafioso and you know that they were targeting you and you can transport yourself with them and they're going to target themselves. So you kill them. So that's how you get the make um, the stop hitting yourself achievement. And a lot of times what I do is when I'm transporter and, and all any is if there's a surf claim, I transport myself with the surf. So if they try to hit me, they're going to hit that surf first. So it's pretty, pretty fun and pretty cool to be a transporter. Um, I would not suggest you transport the jailer um, with anybody. Figure out another way. Uh, transport two people to make sure that they don't get you and say, hey, you're hypno. No, you got to transport two people at first to kind of make yourself believable. Um, that's why a lot of times when there's a hypnotist in the mafia team, they're going to say, hey, um, you know, claim transported. But you got to be careful with that because if somebody gets onto you and um, then later in the game, they're like, oh, this person claimed transported uh, with the hypno and then they're going to come after your mafia. So you got to be careful and you got to make that uh, play a little bit different sometimes. So we, next game is our next role is Trapper. Now, Trapper is... A killing role. They're they're town killing role. So they are not in town trader though. You this has to be in coven, town trader, or all any. You cannot have it in classic or anything like that. So as a trapper, night one you're building your trap. You're completely building your trap. And then night two, you're placing your trap. Now, when you're placing your trap and if your target gets, you know, attacked or, or, or whatnot that night, the trap's gonna trigger. And either the trap's going to kill somebody or is going to say, hey, this trap was triggered by an arsonist or a godfather. So you're going to get to know what roles are in the game just by that. So that's something pretty cool you can do as a trapper. Um, and see, see Pestle and Visit Your Target. So you kind of see some of the roles. Uh, vampire Hunter. This is a very rare one to get um you have to have vampires in the game to to even be a vampire hunter um it's it's pretty pretty awesome um you you have to you you basically visit somebody every night uh and if they are a vampire you stake them now the cool thing is at night you can actually see their chat so if they talk to each other you can kind of try to put two and two together and see who is or who are the vampires who are they going for sometimes they'll say hey we should go get the sheriff claim uh, or we should go get the jailer and then the next night you can stab the jailer and it's like oh it's a vampire of course so there you go and that's how you kind of make yourself uh, known now one cool thing is after all the vampires are dead you turn yourself 
yourself into a vigilante with one shot. So you only have one shot instead of the usual three. But it's pretty cool. After all, they're dead. You're like, hey, I'm a Vigi for the town. Yay. Um, oh, also with the Vampire Hunter, that, that is, n you cannot have this in Town Trader at all. Like, there has to be vampires in the game. So in Dracula's Palace um, and all any, that's where you will see this role. Um, there's no other place you can see it. Uh, veteran. This is a unique role as well. So you're not going to have two veterans in the game unless it's in all any. Um, and I think it's still unique, so I don't think you can have two veterans. I I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know this is a unique role. So what you do with the veterans, you have three alerts. You can choose them to use them at any time. Now, if somebody comes to your house and you're alerting, no matter who that person is, they're going to die. You're going to live, but they're going to die. Even So if they come to attack you, you're going to live, they are going to die. No matter who it is. So if an escort comes knocking and you're on alert, bye-bye. They're gone. 100%. Um, the attack is pretty unstoppable, so you're going to be able to kill some of these very high defense targets as well, like the Godfather and such. You're going to be able to live through some of the biggest, um, you know, killing people in the game. You're going to kill a serial killer, you know, basically stuff like that. So it's 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 a pretty cool role um, once you use it. A lot of people bait um, as veteran, but you can um, make sure you kind of let the town know um, in your own sort of way. Like, don't come visit. <laughs> um, but sometimes people just don't say anything and, you know, the town kind of knows, especially if somebody puts in their will, hey, I visited 10 and, oh, I died to alert. They kind of put two and two together, so. A vigilante. So, this is a pretty cool role in town of salem you can actually have uh see this in uh town trader and, and coven town trader and all any um i don't think this is in classic but um i could be wrong no 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 this is in, in rank this is in classic uh there is a town town killing role in there uh but um so what you do is, is you have three bullets the first night you cannot shoot you're basically placing your bullets into the gun um, in order to shoot the next three knights, if you if you choose to do so. Um, now, as a vigilante and town trader, when there's a witch or coven leader around, even in all any, um, and, and in coven, you do not want to let people know that you're a vigilante until that witch is dead. Because if, if a witch knows that you're a vigilante, then they're going to use you, and then they're going to go town and killed the town now sometimes you get lucky and you kill a mafia member by mistake of theirs but you don't necessarily get as lucky as that sometimes so you got to be careful with that um and the after your your three bullets are out you're out that's that's it three bullets and you're gone so if you shoot three non-townies in a game like i did then hey there you go um and Basically, uh, after you shoot, you know, you can say, hey, you know, this is me who shot or, um, you know, if there's no witch around, you could kind of like make it known um, that, hey, this is this is um, this is me who shot this. But I mean, it's a, it's a fun role. You kind of have to figure out who, um, you know, people are and such. Uh, the only time that you're going to die from guilt is if you shoot a town. So if you shoot a townie the next night, you're not going to be able to shoot again, and you're going to die the next day. So you got to be careful on who you're shooting and whatnot. Um, but thank you again for watching. Uh, I will make another video for the Mafia, Neutral, and Coven rolls. But um, this is all for the town rolls. Make sure you like and subscribe the video for more content just like this.